unfolded over the vast expanse of the ocean. Imagine the shock waves through the deck of a U.S. Navy ship as a shadow casts over, a deafening roar fills the air, and a glimpse of metal flashes by. Just picture this. A U.S. ship sails confidently across the wide sea until suddenly a Russian fighter jet appears, tearing through the air at incredible speeds. Closer than a lightning strike, but more shocking than a clap of thunder at a distance of only 75 feet. No, this is not a scene from a Hollywood blockbuster. This actually occurred. Some Russian fighter jets have flown as close as 75 feet to U.S. Navy vessels, drawing widespread attention for their daring and perhaps dangerous maneuvers. As a result of these risky demonstrations, tensions between Russia and the United States have escalated. Russia is sending a message to the United States, either to express its discontent with its policies or to warn it. Not only do these flyovers demonstrate Russia's military strength and vigilance, especially in strategic locations, but they also allow the Russian military to gauge the responsiveness and efficiency of the United States military. This occurs as Russia shows off its newest combat planes. To what extent do these cutting-edge Russian jets differ from their predecessors in terms of technology and strategy? Let's take a look inside one of these brand-new Russian fighter jets. Russia invests much in aviation, particularly in the development of new state-of-the-art aircraft. Russia's dedication to aviation innovation is on full display in the country's manufacturing of cutting-edge jets and the development of aircraft of the sixth generation. Roscosmos's biggest announcement in 2023 was the speeding up of the manufacture of the Su-57 fighter plane, which is undergoing testing in Ukraine and by the Russian Aerospace Forces. In response to a state order, the United Aircraft Corporation is at the forefront of the effort to increase output. Production of the Su-57, which is only getting started, is expected to skyrocket in the near future. The Lipetsk Combat Training Center plans to expand to its fleet with 76 Su-57 planes by 2028, according to an agreement reached in 2017. By the end of 2024, the plan is to have delivered 22 Su-57s, with 10 having been delivered by the end of 2022. Rykov has shed light on the Su-57's cutting-edge technology and the continual improvements to its capabilities. In October 2022, a redesigned Su-57 took to the skies for the first time, ushering in a new era of testing for the aircraft's cutting-edge hardware and maybe an entirely new generation of engines. In addition, the UAC has begun delivering Su-57 aircraft with enhanced NPO Saturn engines for the second stage of their flight. Not only do these engines have retractable screens for further protection, but they also have outstanding features like thrust vector control and variable intake ramps. Plans are for a new engine to be installed by the middle of the 2020s, substantially reducing the plane's radar and infrared signatures. The Su-57 distinguishes itself because of its unique combination of features. It is the first operational Russian stealth aircraft, and it sets the standard for fifth-generation multi-role fighters. Beyond only stealth, the Su-57 prides itself on outstanding agility, a substantial internal payload for diverse tasks, and high-tech sensing systems, including the active phased array radar. Inspired by the Lockheed Martin F-22 but designed to overcome its shortcomings, this plane was developed with the future in mind. Some of these are the limited maneuverability afforded by thrust vectoring, the lack of room for payload as a result of the engine layout, and the difficulty of recovering from a stall if thrust vectoring fails. The Su-57's design prioritizes stealth through the use of a wide, blended wing body, widely separated engines, and detachable stabilizers. It has flaps and other control surfaces to improve its aerodynamics. Its wings are angled, and the fuselage is smooth. Key features include thrust vectoring and massive extensions on the leading edge of the wing, to move the aerodynamic center forward, increase static instability, and boost maneuverability. To further improve performance at steep angles, including quick stall recovery, these additions have adjustable vortex controllers. The Su-57 is equipped with an air braking method to stabilize the aircraft in the case of a thrust vectoring failure. While alloys make up the bulk of the plane, Composites account for up to 26% of the structure and 70% of the skin. 
The Su-57 is a multi-role fighter that can carry a wide variety of big air-to-surface weapons thanks to its extensive internal arsenal. This completes the jet's high-performance features by reducing drag compared to external attachment and preserving the jet's stealth profile. The combination of the Su-57's cutting-edge KSU-50 flight control system, its unusually angled thrust vectoring nozzles, and the aircraft's superb pitch and yaw instability results in exceptional maneuverability. This plane can perform supersonic dives and rolls like Pugachev's Cobra and the Bell without resorting to afterburners. It can travel at speeds greater than Mach 1.5, giving missiles and bombs an effective range of around 1,500 kilometers. The range of its attacks has been greatly increased thanks to the addition of a refueling probe. The Su-57 excels at evading detection because of its sophisticated camouflage. Edges are aligned in such a way as to cut through radar waves, weapons are hidden inside, and radar-absorbing materials are used. To maintain stealth, the jet's infrared search and spot gear stows away, and radar-absorbing materials cover the engine's rear. Because of improvements in its design, its radar cross-section is now less than that of a whisper. The Su-57's stealth technology is particularly effective against high-frequency radars used by most other aircraft. It has a 30mm gun, precision-guided bombs, and air-to-air -air missiles in its arsenal. The cockpit is a cutting-edge hub outfitted with digital displays that keep the pilot abreast of the action on the ground below. The avionics fuse information from many sensors to provide a comprehensive view of the battlefield. Russian military aviation has taken a giant leap ahead with the Su-57, but the United States and China aren't standing still. Sixth-generation jet development is moving at full speed. The United States is currently developing the SR-72, a reconnaissance and strike platform capable of speeds of up to Mach 6 and altitudes of up to 80,000 feet. It was built to house advanced sensors and weapons. The SR-72 is designed to continue the legacy of the renowned SR-71 by realizing the United States Air Force's ambition for hypersonic aircraft. Thanks to advances in 3D printing and computer-aided design, Lockheed Martin anticipates development to begin in the early 2020s, with the first flight of a prototype occurring around 2025. A possible addition to the fleet in the 2030s, this plane may carry hypersonic missiles. China is making headlines in the advanced military aircraft sector with its J-20 program, a sleek sixth-generation jet primed to be a stealth marvel. It has a sleek integrated body, a pointed nose, and a canopy that merges in with the rest of the structure to minimize radar signature. Subtle design modifications, such as low observable air diverters and intakes tailored for supersonic speeds, are mounted atop its streamlined structure and work together to reduce radar reflections. The J-20's canards and leading-edge wing extensions provided a performance advantage in maneuverability, especially in supersonic and high-speed turns. The design of the aircraft places heavy emphasis on instability, using it to its advantage to cut through the air with unrivaled agility. This is supplemented by a system of cutting-edge avionics that provide the pilot with a web of situational awareness. The cockpit looks like something out of a science fiction movie, with its futuristic digital displays, touchscreen interfaces, holographic projections, and helmet display that shows the pilot the whole battlefield at once. The J-20 has been powered by a variety of engines, and the powerful WS-15 engine is next in line to increase its already impressive capabilities. The J-20 avoids using external tanks in combat by keeping a low profile, allowing it to preserve its stealthy appearance. The J-20 has a lower stealth profile than Russia's Su-57, according to military experts, and this is only anticipated to improve as the J-20 program ages. Russia isn't doing anything while the world security situation evolves. The Su-75 Checkmate is an ambitious project that aims to compete with other sophisticated stealth fighters. The LTS, as it is known within Sukhoi, is a state-of-the-art aircraft designed to impress on both the domestic and international stages. The Checkmate, Russia's chess move in the high-stakes game of aerial supremacy, will be unveiled with a flourish by President Putin at the 2021 MAKS Air Show.
Despite the delay of its first flight from 2023 to 2024, the Checkmate still plans to compete globally against aircraft like the F-35 Lightning II and the FC-31 when it begins delivering aircraft in 2026 or 2027. The Checkmate is poised to be a worldwide player because of its ambitious manufacturing goal of 300 jets over 15 years and its price tag, which is lower than that of many rivals. However, international sanctions have thrown a wrench in the proceedings, making it hard for Russia to get the semiconductor and high-tech manufacturing gear they require and chilling potential sales due to trade restrictions. Russia is committed to the Su-75 checkmate despite these challenges, since it sees itself as playing a crucial role in the development of future fighter jet technologies. So that was all the time we had today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time.